Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. And I'm not gonna forget, but first things first, I'm gonna thank Sakina for doing this recording. Now, we're doing double baked chicken. This is one of our favorite dishes in the house. I have a video in Gujarati. It's a little bit of a variation. You know, it's funny how I do the videos, but whenever I'm cooking at home, sometimes I kind of add things here and there, and then this turned out really good. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit, just gonna be a little different version of it. Um, very, very simple. We're gonna get right to it. I've got my oven preheating at 400 degrees, okay? So we're gonna be baking this chicken. So first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna marinate our chicken. now. I don't have much time today, so I am gonna cook it right away. But if you are cooking this, then I would say marinate your chicken for at least 20 minutes. And if you have more time, do it overnight. It tastes amazing. So I did here one, or no, two teaspoons of uh, fresh ginger and garlic. And this is really, really important, all right? So we did the uh, ginger and garlic. Now, I'm also going to be adding about a teaspoon of my red chutney. Now, this red chutney is uh, already uploaded on YouTube. You don't have to put this if you don't have it, but this chutney is so tasty. That's why I'm adding it to the chicken, all right? Then I'm going to do salt to taste, all right? Lemon pepper about a teaspoon of it now if you don't find lemon pepper where you live just that's fine don't add anything you can add just maybe some lemon juice and then also I'm gonna add a bit more pepper on it it's just I love I don't, I don't like the chicken smell so this is how I mask the taste all right so you just want to mix all this really really well in fact I just got this chicken from the butcher so it's really nice because it's really nice and fresh um, in Minnesota, it's it's hard for us to get fresh chicken because <laughs> usually we have to buy it and then freeze it. So this was great. I was just waiting for it. And all right, so you wanna mix it really nicely, just like that. So it's got all those flavor, flavors developing in here. Next, what we're going to do is I'm just going to take a tray lined with foil and I'm just gonna Put it onto our baking dish. I'm gonna pop this in the oven about 40, 30, 35 to 40 minutes. And then I'll also show you what we're going to do with this chicken is we're also going to be broiling it because you want this chicken to be um, really nice and cooked and crispy and have that blackened on top. Now I also have a video on YouTube showing how you can smoke this chicken where you don't need anything special, any special smoker in the house. So if you want to watch that, I will put up a link and how to do that because I, I think that this uh, chicken would taste really, really good with the uh, barbecue smoke taste. Now this can also be grilled outside. Um, the weather is not quite that warm for me to be grilling outside. so. Um, I'm just gonna be using the oven today. Okay, add that in there. Now, the gravy that's gonna come out from this chicken, we're also going to be using that. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to pop it in my oven. I am going to put it on top first. I will check to see if my chicken is cooked. Um, and if it uh, if it is not cooked, I will put it on the bottom if it's getting too brown on top. Now what we're gonna make is we're gonna make the uh, curried part of this video. Now this again is a very, very simple um, seasoning. And the nice thing about this is that while the chicken is baking in there, we can be working on our um, curried part of, of um, the chicken. So you're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil. You don't need anything more. Just two tablespoons will be perfect. We're just adding about two tablespoons because we just want to uh, fry up our tomato paste and stuff. So in here, um, I'm gonna put it on high for a minute so that it can become really nice and hot. So at this point, first thing, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my curry leaves in here and I'm just gonna wait for that to cook up just a little bit. Now 
Now, if you wanted to add cumin seeds or turmeric seeds, you can. But then it looks like I've made it before like that, but then I feel like it looks like it's really curried, and I kind of don't want that curried. This is just double baked chicken with not too much going on. While our oil is heating up, I'm going to add one teaspoon of fresh ginger and garlic in there. Another teaspoon of the chutney. It looks like I'm going to have to make more. Now, again, if you don't have the chutney, really don't worry about it. Um, this just gives it that really extra taste to our chicken. We added that. Next, I'm going to add a six ounce can of tomato paste. Now this is going to go a long way because one six ounce can of tomato paste is gonna be, we're gonna be adding two chickens in here, so. Now, most important thing is that whenever you put a tomato paste in any of your dishes, just make sure and cook the tomato paste for a couple minutes so that it's nice, it's changed a little bit of the color, if the tomato paste is raw when you're cooking it, you will taste that raw taste in your cooking and it won't be very good. So you just make sure that you want to just stir fry, uh, just fry this tomato paste just a little bit. All right, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add about three red uh, chili peppers that are dried. Again, that's optional. About a tablespoon of lemon pepper, optional. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of paprika. And this is going to give it a really nice color too. It already smells amazing. Right, Sakina? She nodded her head. So it's dry right now, which is perfect because like I said, once the chicken is completely baked, we are gonna be adding that chicken stock that's gonna double up in our baking tray. We're gonna add it here into our tomato paste mixture. Next thing I'm gonna do is add some parsley flakes and also salt to taste. Now, make sure and do a taste test. Really, really important because you want to serve this where it tastes amazing when it gets on the table. Right? So this is perfect. You can see that it's sticking a little bit on the bottom. The color of the tomato paste has changed to maroon. And now I'm just going to wait for our chicken to get done put the stock in, give it a taste test, and then I'll tell you why it's called double baked chicken. Chicken already, I turned it once when it was broiled, but I wanted you to see again, this is the other side of it. If you wanna broil it even more, you, you can. Right here, look at how beautiful this chicken looks. So I did put it on broil, which my broil runs about 550 degrees, and um, I let it just, um, get really nice and uh, dark see the little bit of the black on the other side is done too see I did flip it so at this point what you want to do is the mixture that we had made before turn that I'm going to turn that on and then I am going to be putting the chicken stock in the tomato paste Make sure that we made. Now this is going to have a lot of flavor. So I'm just going to mix this together really well.
We also want to do a taste test on this mixture here, although it's going to be so flavorful, but let's make sure that, if, you know, if you want to add any chilies or anything else in it, this is the time to do it. Okay. So we have a really, really nice um, gravy here. I did by mistake turn my oven off, so I'm just going to turn it on real quick because we need to put it in there one more time. And that's why it's called double baked chicken. Alright. So at this point, we want to start putting each of the chickens inside of the gravy. Now you'll have to be careful because chicken is really, really nice and soft. We haven't overcooked it. Um, so you just don't want to, you want to make sure you don't break the chicken. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. You can take the mixture and just put it on the tray. Um, or do it this way. Just going to mix this. Now, again, the tongs that I used are fresh and clean ones. I'm not using the same ones that we used with the raw chicken, and you want to make sure you do that as well. Now we'll take the chicken out, put it back onto our tray. And I'm going to turn the stove off because I don't want the uh, um, stock or the water that the, it's in there, I don't want that to evaporate and don't want the mixture to become really nice and uh, uh, thick. So that is why I turned it off. Add the rest of the chicken in here. I just want to, I'm sorry that you have to watch this, hit the forward button if you get bored, but I just want to show you I'm going to be putting this back into our oven. So again, I'm going to mix the last of our chicken. So see we had enough of the gravy which is this is perfect take the rest of it get back on the tray now this is not going to take long for it to broil it's going to be very quick because the chicken is nice and hot Just try and make sure that they are all one in one level because we want all of them to get that um, broil on it. All right, so for this, I would highly recommend that you don't leave it into your oven and walk away because you just want to broil this real quick. So what, usually what I do is I just put it in. If I want to close it, I might close it. But I'm going to stand right here because it's going to take maybe a minute just to get. So I've got this in the oven. I want you to see it. It's smoking. It's gotten some, some, black on it it looks perfect and i had one piece that was actually getting really really dark so i took that one out early but see how beautiful it's got the black marks on it so 
So we're just going to plate it now. Now you can do this also with chicken breast. You can cut them up in small pieces and then um, you can even add toothpicks in there and that can become like a finger food for parties, for birthdays, for um, like uh, uh, office parties. So Now this can also be eaten if you want to eat it with uh, pita bread. I have a pita bread video on YouTube which is excellent. Or you can you, uh, do um, naan. I have a window video of that. You have tandoori naan, you can do a video. I have a video of that. Um, French fries, baked potato. Um, really, you can be very, very creative with this. Also you could do like um, stir fried green beans on the side. And the chicken is like, it's it's cooked so well that it's gonna fall off the bones. So I have to be so careful. Okay, and then this is the uh, the chutney that is hidden in there. All right. Now, this is gonna be hard to do a taste test. So, I usually like the white piece. So I'm gonna grab that, and then put my fork and knife. And look at how soft, look at how soft this meat is. Look at how soft, beautiful, white inside. It's got enough sauce in there. I don't know what to tell you, but you guys have to give it a try. Because if you cook your chicken on high temperature and keep an eye on it, if you feel like it's getting dark on top, put it in the middle rack. I didn't have to, but all ovens are different. But this chicken is seriously amazing. It's just that double baked, it's dry, it's got that charcoal on it. And then if you, if you took this and did the, um, smoked it, the, I, have, I have a video of how to smoke this chicken at home. If you did the smoke on this, it would give it a really nice smoky taste, taste to it. We had a couple of things to, this week that were smoky that I did that because I was doing the videos. So this time I've just left this plain. But I'm telling you, it is super delicious. Um, try it out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys have any comments, anything that you guys have a questions with, down under the description, leave a comment, like my uh, video if you like this video. Also, I'm available on Facebook. I have a page on Facebook under Rehana's Cuisines. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Pinterest. So really, I'm out there if you guys have any questions. Uh, I try and reply uh, as much, as fast as I can on the comments. But sometimes, also I wanted to mention that I can't reply back. So if you have ever commented, and said, well, she doesn't reply. It's because some reason uh, it doesn't give me the option of replying. It just says that it's a post, it's a comment. It doesn't let me. So I just wanted to bring that out to you guys because I know some of you wait for those comments to get back to the comments, but I can't reply on those comments. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. See you then, friends.